let's jump into problem 12 to a drop or retain a segment. So a common financial dilemma that companies find themselves in is they've got one division, one arm, one branch, one part of their company seems to be struggling. And the question is, when should we stop doing that thing? When should we drop the segment? When should we drop the product line? When to stop something that's already going? And relevant costs can help us to make those types of decisions. So Allmart is a department store with three major departments. We're doing 12 2A from my accounting workbook, TonyBell.com. Uh, their three departments are housewares, hardware, and electronics. Company management is very concerned about the performance of the electronics department, noting that it seems to be a drag on the company based on its most recent fiscal quarter. A company-wide segmented income statement follows, and you can see electronics is, yeah, losing 30 grand, and the company's only making 30. So if you got rid of electronics, you'd like go, okay, well, if I get rid of that i got 40 and 20 i'm making 60 right i'm doubling my profits and so you could understand how it would be cause for concern if you were running this company the company notes that if the electronics department were dro dropped, the other departments could expect a 10% decrease in foot traffic in the sales. That makes sense, right? If you've got a store with lots of different departments and you drop one of the main departments, less people will come to the store and you'll lose business in your other departments for sure. So, okay, 10% down is their best guess. Also, $20,000 of the electronics department's fixed costs are allocated and will continue even if the department was dropped. So even if we get rid of electronics, some of those fixed costs stay and some might be like you know management costs where the salaried manager that that operates across departments uh you, you can't lose that manager or it could be property tax you know on the building maybe we're still in the same building well our property taxes remain so that's something to to be concerned with uh so in any event twenty thousand dollars of these fixed costs will remain uh, the company has no planned use for the space currently used by the electronics department. It says compute the net dollar advantage or disadvantage of dropping this department. I'm going to do this two ways. The first way is the way my brain processes it. And it's a little bit of a longer way, but I think it's, it's a good way to do it. And then I'll show you a shortcut way to do it that a lot of textbooks will show you how to do it the, the second way. But I'm going to do the first way because I think it's, it's easier for me to explain. And it's the way I make sense of this. So I try to recreate the income statement. We got sales, variable expenses contribution margin, fixed expenses, and we got our operating income or loss in the case of electronics. We got the houseware, we got the hardware, and we got the electronics department, and we're gonna do totals. And I'm just gonna recreate this income statement as if I had dropped electronics. So let's start with houseware. What's its income statement going to look like? What's its sales going to be if we drop electronics? Well, it's going to be down by 10%. So it's 150 now. Dropping 10% means it's dropping 15,000. The new sales are going to be 135 if things go according to plan. The hardware is going to lose 22,000. So 220 minus 10% minus uh, uh, 22,000 is 198. And what about the electronics? Well, it's going to zero. It's not going to exist after this. So 135 plus 198 is 333. That's kind of a funny number to have, but 333,000. What about our variable expenses? Well, the good news is if sales drop, so too do variable costs, because again, you don't have as many goods being sold. So your cost of goods sold, that's a key variable expense, will go down, of course. Uh, so it's 60, it's going to go down by 10%. It's going to go down to 54, right? 60,000 times 10% is six. So we reduce by 6,000, it's 54,000. Uh, this was 100, it's going down by 10%. So it's going to be 90. And this was 140, it's going down to zero because it doesn't exist anymore. 54 plus 90 is 144. All right, let's total these 135 minus 54. 81,000 is our contribution margin for housewares. For hardware, 198 minus 90 is 108. And electronics has zero contribution margin because it's not contributing anymore. One eighty nine thousand dollars. Fixed expenses are fixed. So our houseware stays at 50. Our hardware stays at 100 and our electronics uh, 
it says, you know, part of the reason, a big part of the reason we're getting rid of electronics is to drop the expenses. And we do get rid of most of the expenses, but remember $20,000 of electronics fixed costs remain in the company. They're allocated costs. Now, realistically, the company's not going to keep an, an income statement going for electronics. They're just going to share this 20 grand to hardware and houseware. So they might go, well, hardware is fixed expenses now 60 and or houseware is now 60 and hardware is now 110 or something like that. Like they'll split the 20 grand across the two. But for us, we can just say, okay, it stays in the company. How they uh, share it between the departments is, is up to their management and we don't have to worry about it. We just know the total fixed expenses for the company are going to be 170 after this. So doing the math here, 81 minus 50 is 31,000 in operating income for houseware. 108 minus 100 is 8,000 for hardware and zero minus 20 is negative 20 for electronics. So we end up with 19,000, just adding it all together uh, of overall profit for the company. So should we do it? Well, what are we comparing it to? It says compute the dollar advantage or disadvantage of dropping the electronics department. We were making 30,000 with it. We are gonna be making 19,000 without it. We're $11,000 worse off if we drop it. So it's a disadvantage of $11,000 Therefore, we shouldn't drop the department. Now, having said all that, of course, the company should consider replacing the department with something new. They, If they're going to keep the department, they should be saying, well, how do we get it back on its feet? How do we make sure it becomes profitable again? This isn't like, oh, everything's great. No, no, no. It's all bad news. But if you drop the department, you will be worse off, at least in the short run, until you figure out what to do with that space. But there you go. Uh, there's a dollar disadvantage of $11,000 to drop the department. I mentioned at the start, I will show you sort of a quicker way to do this, but my brain doesn't process it this way. But here's a quicker way to do this. You would say, what's the reason we dropped the electronics department? A big reason is you're going to save some fixed expenses. So this is what's relevant, right? We've actually looked at irrelevant costs. This $20,000 that stays in the company, it's its not different between the alternatives. So it's not a differential cost. Uh, so it should be irrelevant from that perspective. This way is just looking at incrementally, what are the relevant items? And the big relevant item is you save a bunch of fixed expenses. So we're going to save... Um, what is it? Not 90,000, but 70,000 in fixed expenses, right? 20,000 stay in the company, 90,000 go away. So, well, 70 of the 90 go away. So $70,000 is fixed expenses saved if we drop the department. We're going to lose some contribution margin. So contribution margin lost for the electronics department is $60,000. That's bad for us, right? The fixed expenses saved is good. We don't have to spend 70 grand of fixed expenses that we used to have to spend. We also lose contribution margin in hardware and in housewares. In hardware, our contribution margin is 120. We're losing 10%. So we're losing $12,000 because we lose 10% of our foot traffic and sales. In housewares, we lose $9,000. So if we add up our total CM lost, it is 60, 72, uh, 72 plus 9, 81. We're losing $81,000. We're saving $70,000 in fixed cost to lose $81,000. Overall, there is a disadvantage. And the reason I'm saying disadvantage is because it's a negative number here. Uh, of $11,000, so don't do it. So that's the net dollar disadvantage of dropping the electronics department. We did it the way, again, I like to do it this way, but this way is is quicker. And if, if my student did it either way, I would, I would accept both answers. This way is the incremental approach. And uh, I think textbooks do tend to favor this way. I like doing it this way because that's how my brain processes it though. So there you go, we've solved 12 2 a As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. The next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.